Hi, everyone, and welcome into Keys to the Crown, presented by Crown Royal. I'm Daniel Salerson, helping you get your fantasy football lineup ready for week number 11. Joining us this week is Erica Tamposi of NFL Media. Erica, glad to have you on. How are you? I'm doing well. Where is the crown? I mean, I know it's early when we're taping this, but I mean, I thought that would be included. I thought it was coming with it as well. I thought I was going to wear one every time I did this, but I was told that's not the case. So we'll just pretend like we both have crowns on it. That's okay with you. Yeah, that works for me, I guess. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's start with Saints and Falcons. Big rivalry week for these two teams. I, I know we have the injury to Drew Brees, so we're hoping he gets back uh, really soon. Um, but give me someone to start, give me someone to sit, and maybe a sleeper pick for this game. Well, maybe you have more information than I do, but with Drew Brees and this injury, we're not really sure how long he's going to be out, right? So Jameis Winston is only rostered in 1% of leagues. So, you know, we've all seen what Jameis can do, and I totally am on board with picking up Jameis Winston. No doubt about that. I'm glad you mentioned Jameis Winston as someone to pick up. Um, while we are on the subject, give me some other waiver wire pickups that could attract you for this, se- this week. Yeah, absolutely. So the Pats fan and me, sorry, everyone, um, is really loving what Jacoby Myers is doing lately. I mean, that throw to Cam, um, that throw to Burkhead in the in the touchdown area, that's, that's what we call it these days, the touchdown area. See how my brain's going, right? So, you know, that that flea flicker to the to the end zone, right, was amazing. And he's getting wide receiver one numbers. Um, I think he's getting like 15 points last week in standard PPR leagues and the week before over 20. So this is something that he's basically the only person that Cam Newton can throw to. So I'm really, really liking him. We talked about defenses and streaming them last week. I want to focus on the tight ends this week because it's really top heavy with tight ends. There's there's certain ones with Travis Kelsey, um, George Kittle, who is out that you can really rely on. Mark Andrews, maybe with Baltimore, but it might be a little tough acquiring some solid tight end talent this season. Um, Is there anyone out there that's worth picking up? Maybe not only for this week, but for a couple of weeks to follow. Yeah, the tight end position is so hard because if you don't have, you know, the big three, which I don't even know if Zach Ertz sort of falls in there. Maybe it's Darren Waller now. It's so tough to figure out who to pick up. Um, They've been pretty hit or miss. I really, really like Hayden Hurst, especially for this upcoming matchup. And Austin Hooper against the Eagles, I think, might have a good game. As far as, you know, I was into Tyler Higbee for a little while. You can drop him now. It's just, it's so hard. And you kind of have to look at them week by week i almost feel like if you don't have one of these big guys that you should be streaming yeah that's a great idea let's wrap things up with thursday night football big nsc west showdown between the arizona cardinals and the seattle seahawks of course a huge win for arizona on their hail mary uh the other day in seattle reeling a little bit uh for fantasy purposes give me someone to start give me someone to sit and maybe a sleeper pick for this big game Oh, man, how exciting is this game going to be, especially coming off of the Hale Murray that just happened? I mean, this is amazing. Um, I've been burned way too many times by Kenyon Drake. And even though he's back, he was questionable last week and then played. And then this week, I'm just staying away from him. Uh, How about you? Yeah, it's a tough one. I have Chase Edmonds in uh, some of my leagues, so I've been relying on him. But it's it's been so hard trying to figure out the the Cardinals running back position that it is probably easiest just to stay away. But I see what you did there with Hale Murray. I think I'm going to have to steal that one because that's certainly a great way to describe what happened last week in Arizona. Absolutely. I think Mike Tirico said it first, and then it's been, you know, so credit where credit's due. (laughs) But thank you. I'll take it. I'll take it. (laughs) <laughs> Good stuff there. That's Erica Tamposi of NFL Media. And those are your keys to the crown presented by Crown Royal. Thanks, Erica. Thanks, guys.